What's the worst excuse for cheating? You aren't exactly my type. Actual quote after three years of living together. A bit late to recognize that huh? I'll never forget my first semester in college I met a girl in psychology 101 that shared with the whole class that her boyfriend cheated on her. She said she was going to forgive him because his reason for cheating was because he had never slept with a black girl before and wanted to know what it was like. Takes him back only for him to start ticking off an attribute list. But I've never slept with an Asian, redhead, tall, athletic, butch, wealthy, mature, etc. Came home early from work to my last ex in bed with another guy. I wasn't trying to hurt you I didn't think you would find out. I came home early because I spilled a fryer on my leg and she ignored my call for a ride because she was busy being, I'm still mad when I think about it. This one happened to a good friend of mine, I was with him just after this little gem was dropped on him, took him some time to recover. I actually wasn't cheating on you, I was dating, other guy, first, so I was actually cheating on him. Madam President of the Society of Pedantics didn't see an issue with what she said. Scott Pilgrim Logic. XGF tried to get one of my close friends to do things with her. When he told me and I asked her about it, she told me she, liked him, but still liked me more that was the last straw. At least now you know you have a good and trustworthy friend. I respect you too much to do with you what I did with them. I got called, for not cheating on you in a dream. This has to be one of the worst ones. The cake was sitting in the fridge, someone had to eat it. She's your twin. Does it really count as cheating? I dated a girl with an identical twin. One night I came up behind her, wrapped my arms around her, and planted a gentle kiss on her neck. Normally she liked that a lot, but this time she said, what the, are you doing? It was her twin. So embarrassed lol. Luckily they both saw the funny side because it's happened before. I deserve to have, with a hot guy. Sorry we started the, without you. It just happened. The storm was so strong it shredded our clothes off and we had to hold on tight to not fly off, I guess a gust of wind pushed my, into her. You're too nice. I'm doing you a favor. She's way hotter than you. Like beating it already. I thought about you the whole time. Never understood that one. It makes it worse surely. I was looking for an excuse to break up. If you want to break up, why don't you just break up? I lost focus and had a consensual workplace relationship, Ned Fulmer. When I lose focus at work I stare out the window in a daze for 20 minutes I don't, my co-worker. I thought it was funny you didn't know. Yup, that actually happened to me. The lights were off, I couldn't see. One that I heard from a former marriage counselor was a woman who claimed her husband was so affectionate, hardworking, and considerate, she developed an inferiority complex and dealt with it by cheating. He caught me cheating, serves him right for spying on me random girl I overheard talking on her phone. It was my birthday and I really wanted to. It was A, and I had a mask on it doesn't count. I just have a flirty personality. I'd had nothing but bad experiences, and had so many good ones with you, that I needed to know if I was fixed. I'm an alpha and that's what we do. Yes, that's a real one. It was a misunderstanding, her name was same as yours so I got confused. I was going to tell you eventually, but I wanted to make sure that we had a genuine connection. I was given this line and shortly after went off the deep end for a while. Became a heavy alcoholic. She implied that in order to make sure her and her new BF had a real connection she went over to his place several times. With her even taking him back to her place, which is where I found them. I performed a soul retrieval on him, and discovered that he was my soulmate, for thousands of past lives and thousands of lives into the future. I was told this out of the blue, after a 21-year relationship, 18 years of marriage with two small children. I am happily married now to a wonderful guy, but prior to I was cheated on twice. High school boyfriend's excuse I used to be fat and insecure and it felt good knowing another woman besides you wanted me and I didn't want to disappoint her. College boyfriend's excuse you were too busy taking your mom to chemo treatments every Friday, so I felt ignored. It was the alcohol, not me. You know how I love my dog? I want to pet it every day. But when I see another dog, I want to pet it too. It doesn't mean I don't love my dog. I just stared at her and said did you seriously just compare me to your dog? Also, same girl, but it was just part of a pagan ritual. That doesn't count. We actually sat down to discuss what counts as cheating after that. She asked if she managed to project her consciousness into a cat, would it be cheating to be with another cat? Because she was always curious what it feels like for cats. I told her that if she managed to project her consciousness into a cat she should come to me so I could pet her before she went off to have, with other cats. Needless to say, that relationship didn't last. I thought what am I doing with this crazy girl, 
I want to get married and have kids, and that's never going to happen with her. I met my wife a few months later, and we have two kids together. The devil possessed me. It wasn't me. She's hot. I was drunk. It doesn't mean anything. Somehow it was my fault she cheated. I thought y'all were friends. An actual quote from an ex my immediate response. How the, does that make it any better? She had absolutely no reply, just sat there with her jaw dropped like she was waiting for another, to come flying in the room. Who tells me my partner doesn't do the same? You didn't answer the phone at 2 a.m. after a 16-hour shift. Called back four minutes later and it was too late. I bought a house two days prior for us to live in. I'm selling that house for 260k higher than I paid for it six years ago. You'll do it to me as well, anyways. It was an accident, it didn't mean anything. So you just tripped and repeatedly landed on that guys? My dad's excuse was you weren't noticing me anymore, there was no intimacy. I was six months old and my mom was pregnant with my sister. She gave me the, me eyes. My chest speaks for itself, Hans Neiman. Let's use my cousins. Our marriage just hasn't been the same the past five to six months during those five to six months his wife's grandfather, practically her father figure, died and my cousin entered the police academy meaning he was either working or in class most of the time leaving her to care for their two-year-old alone while also working full-time, or cheating with the woman in his academy class who was also married. No, things haven't been the same. I've never been more ashamed of a family member. The way he's handled it since she found out about it has just dug the knife in deeper. I wanted to see if I still have feelings for my ex and how will I feel after it accompanied by all those little petty reasons that aren't actually true. She said she had a better, than yours, I had to prove her wrong baby. It was only one time, I've had a crush on him forever and I couldn't help myself. What a, joke. ATL East I don't beat you. I wanted to change things up in the bedroom. Would have been nice if he had told me before sticking his pickle in somebody else. It's your fault for not A and B reason just no, talk about it then. Whatever comes after I can explain. My favorite, the only reason I didn't cheat on you the last three months was because the job I had didn't give me an opportunity. Another favorite, well, I gave her a ride home and she didn't have cash, what else was I supposed to do? I know nobody will read this, but I just got out of an eight-month relationship that ruined my life completely. The straw that broke the camel's back was her excuse for cheating on me, she admitted to me that she slept with her ex during the time I was visiting my parents in another state. Her excuse for cheating was I wanted to see if you loved me enough to stay after I did it, so that's probably the dumbest, excuse I've ever heard for cheating. Thanks for reading. It's not cheating if it stays in the family. Hey, thanks for subscribing and liking. It really means a lot to me. While you are here, feel free to hop on over to the last video. See you there. Ronnie.